Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new here, my name is Holly. I make cooking and fitness and food videos and this is gonna be a cook along style video. I always say it, but I'm super excited about this one. So today's video, we're gonna be making one base and then I'm gonna show you three different meals that you can make with the base. I love these kinds of videos because they're just such a simple way to show that like, you can meal prep and still keep it interesting. It doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be dull. So today we're going to be making a butter chicken alternative. I say alternative because it's a healthier style of a traditional butter chicken. Obviously, there's not going to be any butter in it because that is slightly high calorie. So we're going to be swapping out some different ingredients, but it's still going to be just as tasty. Super light, super healthy, perfect if you're looking to lose weight as well. So I think the easiest thing to do is basically just jump into it. I do want to add a super quick disclaimer. It it is absolutely roasting today. I am sweating and I haven't even started cooking. So if we see any sweat patches, any soolers, please just let it slide. It is probably the hottest day of the year and I have to shut all of the windows and doors in order to keep the noise minimal for filming. The oven is also preheating as well, so it's basically like a little sauna in here. But yeah, anyway, let's just jump into it. All of the ingredients that you guys need will be listed in the description box below, so don't worry if you can't keep up with me talking at 100 miles an hour so I can get outside into the sun. The first thing we're gonna be doing is dicing up 450 grams of chicken. So now all you guys need to do is grab a bowl and we're gonna pop all of the diced up chicken into that. And then it's time to add all of the yogurt and all of the seasonings. I'm gonna list them all on the screen so you guys have the exact amounts. Now I'll just mix everything together until it's completely coated. Right, we're just gonna leave our chicken to the side quickly while we dice up one white onion. Now that the onion is chopped up, we're gonna start cooking the chicken. So you wanna put your pan onto a high heat and use some fry light. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is chuck in the same amount of the original spices, and then you're gonna pop your whole tin of chopped tomatoes in as well. Then I've just added 60 grams of the yogurt, and now some salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna stir that through for a few minutes. So this is looking pretty lumpy at the moment, but what we're gonna do is actually pop it in a blender um, so the sauce is nice and like smooth and creamy, but we're just gonna coat this for a few minutes first. So the next step with our butter chicken is what we wanna do is basically transfer the sauce into our blender cup, um, because like I said, we're gonna blend it up and make it super smooth and creamy. At this point, you also wanna turn the heat down on your pan. We only need it on a low heat, but don't turn it off completely. There is our sauce. So, big tip for this next bit, you need to wait at least a few minutes for the sauce to cool. You shouldn't really blend piping hot food. Um, I think I read that it can cause a blender to explode or just break the blender. So we're just gonna let that sit for a minute or two. Um, but like I said, keep your pan heat on um, and then we'll come back when it's nice and creamy. Now I've let that sit for a few minutes, I am now going to blend it. Guys, the kitchen smells unreal. If you guys are cooking along with us, I hope your kitchen smells as good as mine because it is lovely. So obviously the pan in the background is not looking as aesthetic as I would love, but this is just the reality of cooking right now. So what we're gonna do is actually pour the sauce back into our pan. It should be on a low heat. Add that in and we're gonna throw in the chicken that we've put to the side as well. Now we're just gonna stir it all through and we're gonna leave that for another five minutes just on a low heat. Right everyone, so now it's been five minutes. You should be left with this three person portion serving of creamy butter chicken. It smells 
so good so obviously like i said this is three meals within this so i'm going to show you three different dishes honestly they're all going to be super simple nothing out as well but like i said just a little bit of inspiration in case you're stuck on what to make with it so the first one is literally just going to be rice with a butter chicken pretty traditional butter chicken is obviously a curry dish um so you would normally have that with a rice so i've just grabbed a packet of uncle ben's rice which if anybody has been to supermarket recently has now changed the name it's called ben's original it was definitely called uncle ben's before so I'm grabbing my packet of Ben's original rice. <laughs> Who are you? And I'm gonna put out half a portion of this. Heat it up, obviously just like it says, it's microwave rice, and then serve a third of the butter chicken with it. And that is dish number one. So it's really simple butter chicken with some rice. I use some golden vegetable rice from Ben's Original, not Uncle Ben's. Um, and then next, for the second dish, we're actually going to be doing a butter chicken jacket potato. So I did have a little cheat, and I have actually pre-made my jacket potato. Um, it's literally just come straight out of the oven. So in order to cook my jacket potato, I just grabbed it, sprayed it with fry light. Then what I did was cook it at 200 degrees for half an hour then turned the heat down to 190 and cooked it for an extra hour and that's pretty much given me the perfect jacket potato. It's still very hot, but I'm gonna prise it open and then add some butter chicken to it. This makes me so sad because this is just not pretty. However, you get the gist guys, it will still be super tasty, it's just, not the cutest looking meal that I've ever made. I did say it was gonna get warm in the kitchen and it's definitely got hot. So for this last one, I'm gonna be having this for my lunch today. I'm actually gonna be making a butter chicken wrap. So for this, obviously when you make a wrap, you don't want it to be too saucy. So I'm gonna be leaving some of the like sauce behind that was in the pot um, and just putting it in a wrap with some salad, which will be really nice. Also with this one, I'm gonna let the chicken cool a little bit more. So by the time I make this, will be a little bit more cooled down. Not too cooled down because I'm starving. Um, but it will be a little bit more cooled down and I'll be having that, yeah, with a wrap and some lettuce. Okay, I'm really happy that I decided to have this one for lunch because it looks so tasty. Wrapping that wrap up was a bit of a nightmare, but it's fine. Also, as I was saying earlier, I didn't put a lot of the sauce in, so what you're left with if you make the wrap is extra sauce, but in my mind, I was like, you can just use that as like dipping sauce for your wrap, surely, because each portion's calories are calculated. <laughs> So you've got a wrap and you've got a bit of dip with it. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's definitely the sign of a good meal when you have it all over your face and all over your hands. I am gonna wrap the video up now because I definitely wanna go off and eat that and I'm not gonna eat the whole thing in front of the camera because I feel like that was just the start of the mess. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do try the recipe, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later on in the week.